All right, welcome to Kent Mo Kitchen. That was not the snap, that was not the snap, that was a clack, snap. You gotta wait for a snap. All right, welcome to Kent Mo Kitchen, second episode. Today we're gonna be seeing how we can cook a very, very large chicken in a very short period of time. I don't know if you've noticed, but these days when you go in the grocery store, you can't find a four pound chicken. So you end up with big honkers like this guy right here, uh, weighing in at about six pounds and six ounces, I think. So. We're gonna see a clever method of being able to cook him in a very short period of time. It's called spatchcocking, and it's a lot of fun to do. But first, I'm gonna need a little bit of help from my two assistants. Wow, that was fast. You guys appeared out of nowhere. I couldn't believe that. That was like magic. All right, so who's gonna help me today? Me. You're gonna help, are you gonna help me? Thank you so much. Okay, so first things first. What we have to do is we have to cut this chicken before we cook yeah. it using a very specific yes. method. That's right, it's called spatchcocking. Can you say spatchcocking? Yeah, I can call spatchcocking. You got it? Very good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is... This is gonna, a real chicken. Yeah, boy, well, you're not gonna take the knife. We're gonna scoot you over just a little bit. Thank you, Dad. Yeah, you, you did it, okay. So, when you're spatchcocking a chicken, First thing you want to do is remove the backbone. If you have kitchen shears, that's great. If not, I like to use a big sharp knife. So I've got my parchment paper here because I don't want to be getting yuckiness on my cutting board. We're just going to cut all the way through. You can see what we're basically doing is we're just removing the backbone or the spine of the chicken right here. And there you go. See, remove that little piece of fat. That's usually at the tail end as well. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna get rid of this. You guys see how I did, I just took his spine right out, right? Yeah. Took his backbone out. What this is gonna let us do, it's gonna allow us to flatten this chicken so he's gonna cook much more evenly. The first thing I like to do, I just flip him around. Kind of well, looks like a frog. a frog, right? And you're gonna to wanna to kinda of take him so his legs are positioned out a little bit like that. Like, like someone laying down. Yep. And I just take it like this. But why is he dead? Well, someone's got you. So you take these little wing tips, just break that joint a little bit so you can tuck the wing tip underneath. And that's it. All you have to do is just take your hands and I'm gonna push hard. I don't know if you can hear that, but it cracks a little bit. Yep, cracking that sternum so that the chicken becomes nice and flat. And now what this is going to do is it's going to allow the chicken to cook nice and evenly. Absolutely perfect. Everything is nice and flat. Everything is pretty much the same size and it's ready for our rub. Uh, Dad, Dad, I want to do this and this and this and this. Who want to do this? Can you do this and I can do this? So now my best buddies are going to help me make a paste, right? This is going to be rubbed all over that chicken until it's tasting. But I didn't do it. Super, super nice. You guys are going to work on this together is we're gonna need four of these, of the salt, please, okay. if you would. Thank you. And put it in there. Yep, go ahead. There. You got it? Yep. So four teaspoons of some nice kosher salt. This is the last one. Yeah, you got it? Perfect, beautiful, love it, thank you. Okay, now we're gonna need, let me do this part because it's a little hard to do. Oh. About half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. We're gonna put it in your hand. We're gonna do two tablespoons. Go ahead, that's one. Drop it in there. All right, and one more. You mean hand spoons? <laughs> hand spoons, that's right. Drop it in the bowl, so that's two of those. Uh, can you wipe my hand off? I can wipe it with some Well, it's okay, because we're gonna do some of this too. Okay, we're gonna do two tablespoons of paprika. One. It's okay to get your hands a little messy when you're cooking. There's two. All right, oh, okay, that's fine. Don't even worry about it. All right, now we're gonna do two tablespoons of canola oil. Now these we gotta measure out. Can I do that? Yep, so hold that. Yep. All right, one. Can I do that one? Sure. Two, okay, but now we're gonna do two with the vinegar. Oh, okay, that might be about enough right there. I got to do a so I can do it. Okay, good. Could you stir that up for me with our pastry brush? That's what we're supposed to fill it with? Yep, get that all stirred together. 
Congratulations. Thank you, Sweetie. Okay, thank you. So I want you to use that. Use your brush. Here, let's move this out the way. I don't want to get my pants from Maxie. All right, good job. Let's get some more on there. Is that a little frog? I kind of stupid. Uh, no, it's not a real frog, buddy. You're not a frog. It's a chicken. But it looks like a frog. It does look like a frog. You're right. Yeah, like a bottom of a frog cutting a head off. Yeah. Here, let me do, I'm gonna flip her around because you want to get some on the bottom too. You should definitely baste both sides of your chicken, really make sure it's just Can I do it? covered in flavor. Don't worry about it, it's dead. Yeah. They, they killed it when they were dead. That's right. When they what? Yep, now we're just gonna eat it. Oh, it smells good, doesn't it? Yeah. Use the entire bowl on a chicken of this size. Don't skimp out on it. You're gonna want that flavor. It's gonna be amazing. I love that flavor. That's right, buddy. some smoothies. I think everybody's doing pretty good right now. Feeling good about life? Good. So now our chicken is ready to go in the oven. Uh, this one's perfectly formed. It's got nice coverage here with the paste on it. It's going to cook very evenly. The surface area is huge. That's going to be able to become crispy. Whereas if it's in its normal form underneath, none of that skin is going to get crispy. 100% of this chicken is going to be absolutely cracklingly crispy, delicious stuff. So what do you think, guys? Good. Thank you so much for your help today. That was really great. If you want, you can put this in the oven. It's only going to cook for 45 minutes to an hour when it's in this shape. It is not going to take that long to get done. As you can see, this was quick, it was easy, super simple. Not that many ingredients. You probably have most of them on hand in your kitchen right now. And it's going to be a beautiful bird once you see it come out of that oven. All right, so there you have it. This chicken is out of the oven. It's absolutely spectacular looking. It's beautiful, it's crispy. You have a nice, nice crisp skin on top of this thing. It pairs nice with a bunch of different sauces. I made myself a little chipotle mayo. I highly recommend that with this dish, especially if you like to crank up the heat just a little bit. This chicken is perfectly cooked. It's tender everywhere. It's moist everywhere. You can't beat this method for cooking a larger chicken in a short period of time. We did it for about 20 minutes at 475 degrees, and then another 25, 30 minutes at 400 degrees just to finish it up, and you're ready to carve that up. Enjoy eating. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.